morning everybody oh so i've done it again good afternoon everybody my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe here in my flat in rochester in the afternoon alexa what's the time please the time is 3 27 pm right guys so we're going to recap what's gone on through the day that's what i usually do in the afternoon so today's not been too exciting not much has been done but i haven't got cross and angry so i get up in the morning at eight o'clock i feed my pets I'm not feeling too bad. I mean, to ignore stalkers and ignore idiots is very, very difficult. When you are being antagonised, provoked and deprived of things, it's very difficult to ignore a narcissist, somebody that wants attention. And I'm learning all about stalkers and narcissists. And um, this is how I'm coping when I go outside and um, they are failing to make me lose my temper or whatever they're trying to do. I'm just ignoring them. Because <clears throat> their whole intention is to antagonise, make you angry, rub you up the wrong way and then watch with excitement when you lose your temper or even cry. Which is sick, isn't it, right? Sick. Well, they're not normal anyway. What do you expect? So I got up this morning and I wasn't feeling too bad. I made myself a cup of coffee. I thought, right, no co-op today. Um, and I went and walked Max on the field and they, they tried that, what they tried yesterday. They tried today, but I didn't get cross or anything like that. Charlie wasn't stood outside there because I just would have noted it down and emailed it to the police basically he wasn't there I don't look like a dirty old tramp and um, if they want to dress up like clowns and tramps then pe they don't realize that people are looking at them they ain't looking at me they're looking at them and I'm dressed normally they're dressed like a tramp not me so when someone tries to mimic and take the piss, remember that they look like that. It ain't you. It's them. So if they want to dress like a clown, then that's, that's how they, they are. That's how they want to dress. That's not how you dress. That's how they dress. Not you. So people ain't staring at me. They're staring at them, saying, what the fuck is that? They ain't staring at me. What they're doing is they're trying to make me feel that I look like that and I smell like that and I bloody well don't. So I came back from the field, I sat down and I just want to be left alone. But stalkers, gang stalkers, they need to know where you are what you're doing and they they're self-centered so if you just leave them stood there and ignore them they don't feel so important but if you stare at them if you answer the phone if you answer the buzzer then they feel all important so today i've just ignored them i've not answered one stupid message i've not answered one phone call and I haven't answered my door. And don't I feel better for it? So I watched YouTube videos because I'm trying to learn how to piss these stalkers off and it, you know, just so they just basically go away and find some other toy to play with that's interested in them because I'm not. 
So I was I had my lunch which was some more corned beef and mashed potato. Now I've got a load of food in the cupboard. Um, I've got um, eggs, I've got bread, I've got milk, I've got cereal, I've got dinner for tomorrow. So I'm fine and I can look after myself, yeah. So my mother always comes across as if she's taken the piss out of me and she used to do it to my father and he used to get extremely angry, stand up and go to hit her. But, but this is what, this is inciting behaviour from somebody by talking behind them behind their back so they can actually hit, the, just saying it loud enough so the person can hear you but nobody else can and standing on feet, tipping coffee on somebody, just causing trouble so that the person loses their temper and then they get into trouble because no one can hear what the, the evil person has been saying to them. Now last time I went round to see my mother, she told the takeaway guy, she went, just wait there in a minute, I think I'm just going to make sure no one's pinching anything. And I, she told the takeaway delivery driver that, and I heard it. And I'd gone up to see my mother with birthday presents, and it really upset me. It upset me. When my mother talks over the phone and she leaves messages, oh, it's hello, Janestra, I miss you, I really like, in, enjoyed your company today. When I go up there, it's a different, totally different kettle of fish. I'm locked inside that flat and I'm being mocked and made fun of. And why would I want to go up there? Why would I, I want to do that after I went up there with perfume? I went up there with nice earrings. I went up there with a birthday card. And I've still got two bottles of perfume that I got off of um, the TikTok shop. But who wants to get treated like that? And I'm not being nasty to my mum, but my, why my, won't my mum's care worker come and see her anymore? As she said, I mean, I, 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 I'm her daughter and she's offended me. So, I was watching YouTube videos, I was just finished eating my lunch and the buzzer rang and there was this big woman with a double chin at my buzzer. My buzzer. I'm a woman. So this female chose my buzzer to ring. Why did she choose my buzzer? There's 15 buzzers. Why mine? And then she went over there, and then she went down there, and then she went up the road, and she went. My mother called again. And, you know, by this time, my, my exposed roots on my tooth is pounding. It's going off 19 to the dozen. I've got an exposed root in one of my teeth. And every time that buzzer rings it hurts my jaw and ear and my tooth and I've got this like nerve pain that's pounding and I have to ignore it so the woman goes away I just get on I listen to more YouTube videos but they've always got some nasty surprise in store for me I've told you, they don't give me anything nice. They always do something nasty, but then you, you get used to that and you just wait for something nasty to happen. You're ready for it. So their nasty surprise doesn't work because you know that they don't intend to meet you. They don't intend to take you for a drink or a coffee and a burger. They're nasty. And you that's all you expect from them. And you treat yourself you buy your own flowers you buy your own coffee you buy your own lunch fuck them do you know what i mean they don't win 
In fact, they lose double because you look after yourself even more like nobody else ever fucking could. Idiots! So, I take Max out about two o'clock, yeah? Two o'clock. I'm a single woman, right, a single female, I'm being bombarded with shit messages off of TikTok, I, didn't, I don't even respond to these messages anymore, I don't even look at who's following me, it's a pile of shit, right, if they want to make my subscribers go up to 10,000 by subscribing under stupid names, then they're fucking stupid themselves because they're making my channel more popular. doesn't matter if they describe, if, I couldn't care less if they um, subscribe to my channel as poo stick or whatever, because that's what they're calling themselves. They're not calling me that. They're, people are looking at their profile. Who the fucking hell would call themselves that? A fucking wanker. That's who. So if you get awful subscribers, they are boosting your channel and they are a poo stick, not you, they are. <laughs> so, I don't answer messages anymore, it's the same old prat and they can fuck off, I'm tired of it. Boring. They thought that was a joke, sending that woman to my buzzer. They thought it was a hilarious joke, but it backfired on them. Because she was just stood there like, uh, uh. <laughs> Anyway, I, um, I go out, usual time, after the lady next door has gone out, all hunched over like my mother. She's all hunched over, like my mother Jennifer, in a brown coloured coat. Brown! I'm going to show you my green one that I did a video on YouTube about. Mine's green. If neighbours want to take the piss out of me and my mum, then I'm, they're going to get it back, right? So this is the coat that I got from Primark for 20 quid. It was reduced. Right? 20 quid. Nice, nice coat, isn't it? By the way, I didn't go out in this because you've seen me in my, I like my other coat black one so i'm just going to take the piss out of the neighbor that was taking the piss out of me oh she was taking the piss out of my mum because i don't walk with a hunch so my neighbors dress like this yeah she's just like this she's got a dash hand and she's all hunched over like this in a brown coat She's hunched over like that in a brown puffer coat. A brown one. A brown coat like this. Because someone asked me this morning, Oh, have you got a YouTube channel? I've got three actually. I've got three YouTube channels. And this one's growing. And so is my TikTok. guys is that people are looking at them they're not looking at me they're looking at them hunched over like a poop <laughs> no one's going that's crystal because they're not they're thinking who's that hunched over like an old lady <laughs> 
I don't walk with a hunch. And so, next door neighbour goes out the time that I would take my dog out for a walk, hunched out, hunched like a, a ribbed poo. Hunched over like a poo. <laughs> Then I get a message on Facebook, sexy, and she's walked out of the flats, hunched over like a turd. <laughs> Just telling you how it is, guys. It's best to be honest, because they, they're taking the fucking piss out of me. You can have it back. comes back and I go out about 20 minutes after she's gone out 20 25 minutes and it's raining and I'm not going to go on the field and walk Max all through the wet grass it's not fair to me and it's not fair to him and it's muddy and wet the builders are all sat down I don't walk past these builders it's pissing with rain I just walk around the path just around the block and um, there's nobody about, nobody. And what gang stalkers do is lead you into a false sense of security. You actually think, great, there's no one there. Fantastic, I could just walk around in peace. But that's a false sense of security. These people are antagonistic, they're nasty, they're cruel, they're spiteful, they're jealous and they want to bring you down and upset you and make you unhappy and make you cross as well and make you think your life is not worth living. Now my TikTok is going up, not down, it's going up and so is my YouTube. The whole point of their bullying is to, to stop you being successful. They want to stop it. And if they can make you feel like shit and you feel like, oh, I'm going to delete all those videos. I've, I've done it in the past. Not this time. So, I want to go for a nice walk. I don't want to stay up for two minutes and come indoors. That's not a walk. So I take Max around where the crane is and I walk around there where the gym equipment is and it's picturesque and there's boats on the water and I take a couple of nice videos and say fuck you to these bullies. Then as I'm coming home, right? I come into my flats and I know the man mentality of the bully, the mentality of the bully. And if this bully could get all the beautiful women in the world, all of them that he ever wanted and he's calling me ugly and I'm not all that, well, I don't give a fuck because I don't want this bullying cunt. I don't want them. They're probably fat like Jabba the Hutt and they smell. I don't want them. So, the whole point of this bully is to make me feel ugly and insecure. And there's someone for everyone out there. There is, I truly believe that, that there is someone for everyone. Whatever you look like, whatever disability, there is somebody for everyone. There is. But this narcissistic, bullying asshole every day tries to make me feel insecure about the way I look and who I am and, and is latched on to me because, I don't know, maybe it makes them feel powerful. <sighs> so this guy thinks that he's God's gift to women and I'm, I'm a, a, a hag and a, 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 you know, an ugly person. Well, why do they keep pestering me? Why do they keep pestering me? As I've said before, so I come into the flats and there's a, a young lady in her 20s waiting by the lift. She's 
waiting by the lift. And I walk past the young lady. I'm not cross. I've had no post. I've had a shitty day. My mum keeps ringing. We've got some cunt winding me up. I just walk completely with my head up high past this young lady. And I walk up the stairs and I go into my flat. This, this idiot, who I probably rejected for some good reason, thinks he's God's gift to women and he can pick up all the young ladies, he can pick up anything he wants and I'm an ugly old hag. Well, don't pester me then. Don't keep texting me. Don't text me. Don't go onto my Facebook and harass me. Right? I must be of some importance to you if you text me fucking every day, have me followed around and fucking into the shop, down the street, in the building. There must be something about me that intrigues you, otherwise you'd just leave me alone, wouldn't you? You're a sad cunt. <laughs> And guys, if he could pick up all these women, why does he come home on, on his own to an empty flat? If he could pick up all these women, where are they? This person is so attractive and good looking, they can pick up anyone they want. But why do they come home to their flat every night by their fucking self? Because that's what this person is doing. Otherwise they wouldn't be texting me, would they? So, to my stalker, I'm just going to ignore you. When I see a text with an X, I know it's you and it goes in the delete bin. See you later.